Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the name fields of the Divi email opt-in module. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to do it. So before we get started, let's go through the things that you need in order for us to remove these name fields. So this one is a bit straightforward. All we're going to need is some CSS code. So what I'll do is if you'd like to use this code in your designs, I will link to the post in the show notes below. So what we're going to need to do here is to create a brand new page. So uh, right, uh, right now I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So come over here to pages, click on add new. So you can call this page whatever you want, but in my example, I'm just going to call this email opt-in. Click on use the div builder, and then you want to use the visual builder. Okay, so now that our visual builder has loaded, uh, we need to add some columns. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button, and I'm going to add a single column. And in this column, we're going to add our email opt-in. So I'm going to select it here. So as you can see, by default, we have the first name, last name, and email. So what we're trying to achieve here is just to remove the first name and the email. There are several ways we can add this, the uh, CSS code. So if you'd like the CSS code to be applied to this particular page, which in my opinion is the better option, let's go ahead and save this for now, and then come over here to the bottom of the page and click this gear icon. Okay, so what you want to do here is now you can see we're in the page settings of this particular page. So this code I'm adding here will only affect this page. So let's go to the advanced tab, click on custom CSS, and then we're going to paste the CSS code in here. So now you can see straight away uh, as I've pasted this code, our opt-in box has been updated. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So that's one way you could do it. So as I mentioned earlier on, this code only affects this page. And it also, also makes sense because this email opt-in is on this particular page. But you can also have it site-wide. So for now, I'm just going to save. And then I'll show you where else you can add this CSS code. Open a new tab here. And let's go into our dashboard. So there's two places you can do this. You can either come over here to theme options. And all the way down here, there's custom CSS. So you can actually add it right here. So you can just find a space like right below your previous code, if you have any code in there, and just paste it in here. Or you can come over here to Theme Customizer. And then all the way down here where it says additional CSS, if you click on that, you can also add the CSS code there. But these two options that I've just shown you adds the code and it will be applied throughout the whole website. The other way that we could do this is by using jQuery code. So again, I'm going to come over here to my expand settings, click on settings, and let's get rid of the code from our custom CSS here. And I'll show you how to add the jQuery code. So I'm just going to save this for now. And I'm just going to refresh. Okay, so you can see all our fields are back. So what you want to do here is to add the code module. So I'm going to click this plus button to add our module. And I'm just going to scroll down here and select the code module. So this is the code that you need to enter in here in order for these name fields to disappear. So let's go ahead and save this for now. And we can also going to save the page. And then let's exit the Visual Builder and see if these settings apply. And there you go. And then finally, what you want to do is to add this page to the head part of our website. So that's one way you can also add this jQuery code. Come back over here to our theme options. And then we need to come over here to integration. And this part here which says add code to the head of your blog. That's where you need to paste the code. So you just paste it in there. And then that's it. And then save the changes. These are the several ways you can add this code in order for you to remove these name fields off of your email opt-in module. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.